exposure to what India is all about. And I can tell you, so impressed me on this trip, being with both of them and these other two congressmen that are a part of the India caucus. And it reminds me of that quote from the book called The Print, where it says, the essential things in life are seen not with the eyes, but with the heart. And I can tell you from my heart that what I have seen here in the last four or five days is a great civilization, your great 3,000-year civilization, and a great country. And these two great democracies really have tremendous potential for cooperation and have potential for partnerships. The area that I wanted to talk to you about in terms of that kind of partnership and cooperation has to do with energy, with global warming, with climate chaos, whatever you want to call it. But it's one of the really big issues that's facing both of our countries and facing our planet. And I had the opportunity of meeting with your Nobel Prize winner. I was told his nickname is Pachi, but it's Dr. Pochari. He, uh, we had a chance to visit up in New Delhi. As you know, he has chaired the UN committee called the IPCC, and he shared the Nobel Prize with our former Vice President Al Gore for bringing to the world the conclusions out of the 193 countries, all of the scientists from all over the world, as to where we're headed. And he told me, and told me very dramatically. He said, the science is strong and getting stronger. We're going to face many more extreme weather events. He talked about when we see, and we all know what we talk about on extreme weather events. You know, if you have, you're expecting a 100-year flood and you get a 500-year flood, or you get a drought that's much worse than the previous drought. And he'd say, in the past, we've seen extreme weather events in a 20-year period, now it's going to come down to a two-year period, so we see many more of them. And I don't have to go into all the details. You all know them. You see them every day in the newspaper headlines. You see them when, when you watch uh, television. But the way we share out of this, the way in common that we can work together, we can cooperate, we can partner, our businesses can partner and work with each other, is to focus on renewable energy, wind, biomass, solar, geothermal. These are the areas where both our countries have significant resources, we have the potential to work with each other. In fact, in my state of New Mexico, a small little state of two million people, over the last 10 years, this has been the fastest growing job area. It's what's called clean energy jobs, renewable energy jobs. It, you've also seen significant growth here in India. So it has, it has the potential, this area, as we're seeing this in, in the southwestern part of the United States. Senator Bennett's uh, state of Colorado. I know Mark Warner's seen this growth in the state of Virginia. Growth in manufacturing in our country, manufacturing turbines, manufacturing solar panels. And you have that same potential here in India. And I think there are many lessons to be learned. When we look at the past and, and the path that we went down, we always assumed in America that, and it was kind of a myth of superabundance, that, that there was going to be as much energy as we needed with no prices to pay. And so we developed in ways that were sometimes wasteful in terms of energy. You are able, as a country, trying to put together your energy system now, and I realize you have serious demand problems, you have the opportunity to leapfrog over some of the mistakes we made and be much more efficient in your energy growth. Doing this uh, right now, and that, that's the great example, I think, that Dr. Pochari showed me. He has a small NGO uh, called Terry, and Terry goes out into India's villages. You know, if you, if you look at giving energy to all of your country, what a massive problem. What a massive problem. 640,000 
villages, people living with no electricity, many of them without water. How do you, how do you bring this all to them? It would To build one big grid would probably take too much time. But what Dr. Pochari is doing is he's taking solar power to the villages, putting up a panel, creating an entrepreneur, it's not charity, it's creating an entrepreneurial situation that I know you business leaders would love, where usually it's a woman in the village, takes over responsibility for the solar panel and charging solar lanterns and renting and leasing these solar, so she charges them and then rents them in the community. And these solar lanterns, as he tells me, have completely changed what's happened in these villages. It's a business model that works, and the benefits are clear. Children can study at night. As he told me, in many of these villages, you have to put a netting because of the, the insects. Well, you couldn't take your kerosene lamp in, but you can clearly take a solar lamp in. The business income helps the village grow and helps it be more self-sufficient in terms of that Mahatma Gandhi dream of villages being self-sufficient and self-sustaining. And it brings light where there was darkness and opens up many other business opportunities. So with that, I can just tell you that, that we have a great future together. India, the United States of America, if we work together, we don't accuse each other of things, and we try to cooperate and partner with our business communities we can get it done. Thank you very much.